Now with a summer vacation warning, but is this really a warning? Did you need oh, no. to be told <laughs> that this is not a good idea to taunt a bison in the middle of Yellowstone National Park? Oh, God, no, no. ABC's Gio Benitez is here. I don't know about you, Gio, but uh, I definitely don't need that warning. Yeah, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, Amy. Good morning to you. Listen, dozens of people are injured by wild animals every year. Despite the warnings to keep your distance, people are getting up close and personal with these animals, dramatically underestimating their strength, especially that guy in this video. You can hear its power and see its size. A bison walking right on the road at Yellowstone National Park. But look closer. A man has gotten out of his car and starts taunting the massive animal. People watching in horror. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And if that wasn't enough of a close call, he taunts the bison some more. Oh God, no, no, I can't watch it. Remarkably, the man escapes uninjured and begins walking away. The bison loses interest and doesn't turn back. It's a dangerous game. Just this June, a 59-year-old woman from California was gored by a bison at Yellowstone. She was among a crowd that got too close. She survived. And that same week, two other people were attacked by elk. Experts warning, if animals are taunted, they may strike back. These are not Elsie the cow. This is a wild animal that fights for aggression, fights for territory. In 2015, Brandy Burgess and her daughter got too close to this bison to snap a selfie. Moments later, it attacked, tossing and flipping her in the air. It was the most frightening experience I have been through in my life to date. She survived with only minor injuries, but this is all that was left of her clothes. And your interactions may be dangerous for the animal, too. You'll remember this incident in 2016 when tourists at Yellowstone put a baby bison in their car because they thought it was cold. It wasn't able to be reunited with its mother, and rangers had to euthanize it. The best way to view wildlife is within a safe distance. You should never get closer than 20 or 30 yards to any animal. Realize how privileged we are in this country to have these national parks, to have these areas where these animals can still exist. Yeah, Ron is passionate about this. Meanwhile, Yellowstone this morning says it is investigating the man who was captured on camera in that latest incident, taunting that bison, calling his behavior reckless, dangerous, and illegal. Remember that, illegal. Bottom line, keep your distance. This should not be the but latest trend. When I see that video, I, I am sorry, I am Team Bison. Yeah. Team Bison. Bison. Reckless, like dangerous, that. illegal, and dumb. Uh, <laughs> I can't get that. over the woman who was holding up the shorts. That's quite the souvenir, though. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> check out my gore hole. Yeah, I guess you should frame that, right? <laughs> yeah, live to tell the story. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.